Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 from Valley of the Fires Recreation Area, a Bureau of Land Management campground near Carrizozo, New Mexico. Beautiful day here. I mean, the sky is blue. Uh, the wind is hardly blowing, which is um, unbelievable. <clears throat> but anyway, it is right now, I'll tell you, because I'm not going to worry about the Alexa and Dot, or excuse me, the Google Home device and all that crap. Watch me find it myself. This is Thursday, April the 5th at 7.17 a.m. How about that? I did it all by myself and the outside temperature right now is about 40 degrees, 44 degrees in that range and there's a little bird out there just chirping away but I can't hear him. I can see his little mouth doing stuff. <clears throat> but anyway, everything's going okay. Um, uh, Actually, I feel good. Uh, knock on. Well, there was a comment by a lady that said that she was a registered nurse, and it looked like I was getting worse. I mean, I was losing weight, but I, my weight's the same as it's always been, and I'm eating good, feel good, exercise. So I sure as hell ain't gonna go to a doctor. <clears throat> I don't. I don't know why she said that, but anyway. This is a comment called "Life's a Trip RVing." That's the individual's name. I see a lot of middle-aged folks texting i see a lot more middle-aged folks texting than teens granted i drive during rush hour every day but the truth is more than half the people have a phone in their hands oh i, I hear that you know it doesn't matter what age they are it, it's if you're texting and driving you shouldn't be doing it that's all there is to it i mean you know <clears throat> don't care about well, don't worry about the ages guys uh, Valley of the Fires, Jane Delaney. Hi, Rusty. Enjoyed the walk. Seems like a fairly quiet camping ground. And well, I'm glad you said that because I got to tell you, I've been here. This is my third day. <clears throat> you don't hear any loud music at all. Uh, people that are talking are talking in a normal uh, tone of voice. There's no hollering and yelling crap going on. Uh, no generators at all. I haven't heard a single generator. Of course, they do have electric at about... 12 or 14 of the sites so they don't need a generator <clears throat> but i haven't heard a generator or any loud noises at all i've slept like a baby so it's a good campground anyway uh the nash rv that i saw when i was walking the little travel trailer says that she this individual says the nash has a good reputation as a four season trailer i considered it but the dry weight of the smallest is 3800 pounds whoa <clears throat> somewhere i have a small piece of trinitite whatever that is melted sand a souvenir i purchased back in the 80s when visiting the trinity site it's time for a return trip enjoy your day thank you i plan to because i'm in charge of it and i can do that <laughs> judy anstis r pod or winnebago thanks <clears throat> says i will she says i will church that out i think she meant i will check that is the amount I was looking to spend. That is a great price for a new one. How long is yours? 16 feet. I don't want to go over 20. Thanks for the reply, Judy. You're welcome. SRM's got a comment here. Valley of the Fires. Hi, Rusty. It's funny that you mentioned noticing license plates as you travel. Me and mine used to travel a lot back in the day, and it was kind of a game we played who could be, who could be the first to spot various plates. I always thought we were the only ones that did that. Guess it's a common thing, though. I, uh, common, more common than I thought. <clears throat> yeah, it is. It, it, it's just a game. I mean, I just just happen to notice it. It's something to do. I watch people. People watch me. A Valley of the Fires, Gala Etheridge. Great video. Good videos, Rusty. Feel like I'm traveling with you. Valley of the Fires looks really inviting. It's inviting, but it's windy a lot. <clears throat> now, this is one I did on Made in China a long time ago. J James Guthrie, read the labels, and if it says Made in China, drop it, and never, think, and never buy anything Made in China, period. <clears throat> well, you know, do what you do. It's your money. It's your money. You buy whatever the hell you want, you know. Uh, Valley of Fires, Brenda Coetta, to have water and electricity in a few is a super fine in that area what a view you can see for miles yeah it's true D did you know oh did not know about lava land taking notes nash is made by northwood relative new rv manufacturer interesting i didn't know that <clears throat> valley of fires got a lot on valley of the fires here uh, rv legal 
Eagle and Paul's. Hey, Rusty, how did you get your pick? And then the subscribe button on the lower right of your video, step by step. I have no clue. Hey, <laughs> he wants me to give him a step by the step. Man, I did that so long ago. I can't. I, I couldn't do it again if I tried. I mean, it just happened. I mean, I just was following. I was following what YouTube told me to do. And that's how it happened. <clears throat> this is Petra Olson on the Valley of the Fires. Enjoyed walking. Enjoyed walking with Rusty Time. Thank you. It was beautiful. Well, thank you, Eddie Vidmar, Ram Bo. Yeah, I got it. <clears throat> Bill Nolan. Your video brought back some wonderful memories of my wife and I being there some 30 years ago. Bless you. Dreaming Angels gave me a thumbs up and a peace sign. Thank you. Cajun Jameis, Valley of the Fires. Got some arrows and says, Rusty, you need to get an interview with those folks that had that old 50s model pickup and classic Airstream Avion. Nice. They, didn't want, they don't want to talk. <clears throat> Not to me, anyway. PJ Bikerful, welcome to all new subs and Rusty's Rangers. Let's go for a drive with episode 252 of the world-renowned drive time with Sergeant First Class Ramden Rusty. Thank you, PJ. I appreciate your links, my friend. Uh, also, here's got a link to Wikipedia and, and Carazozo. Thank you, PJ. And he's got a link to Tumbling Tumbleweeds, Sons of the Pioneers. You've got a link, so check it out if you want to hear that song. Thank you again, PJ. Kevin Loving. <clears throat> uh, this is Carazozo. I have never been in a small town that I stayed that didn't have something or someone who surprised me. You have to stay long enough to know some of the people. I would take any small town over a city. Uh, yeah, me too, in most cases. Uh, Rondland 100, no windsock, no tumbleweed, no flag. Who cares? It's beer 30 in Carrizozo, New Mexico. Let's have a brewski and a burger, Rusty. Guess what? That hamburger place is closed. The, the, the grocery store is closed and the hamburger place is closed. That was my two spots. <clears throat> they do have a place to get filtered water, but it's 35 cents a gallon, which is, oh, 40% more than uh, it was in uh, Alamogordo. Jazzman, very nice drive. Time Sarge, more please. Yeah, we'll do them, don't worry. Janice Peck, Valley of the Fires, Rusty, excellent tour of the of Lava Flow Campground. Campground is very nice. Showers, flush toilets. Yeah, I took a shower yesterday. It's nice. Yeah, you just have to keep pushing that button because you push the button, water runs for a while. You can't, t you can't set the temperature. Whatever temperature it is, that's what you got <clears throat> or get. Push the little button, you know, wash a little bit, push the button again. Uh, it says that da, 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 showers right there. Even if some hook up, even some hook up if needed. Yeah, we'll head that way hopefully soon. Good walk this morning for you. Enjoy it. Thank you. Safe travels. Yeah, I'm going to take a walk this morning out in the lava field and do a video. And then I've got another, another video on uh, uh, that I did yesterday <clears throat> uh, on, uh, you know, when you come into these campgrounds where the, you got to pay envelopes. I'll talk about that later on. Cajun Jameis, uh, the beautiful... He says, Rusty Carrizozo looks as though it's, it is about to become a ghost town. It almost is right now. Unbelievable. Yeah, their tax base is drawing up. <clears throat> Comment call. Gerard, uh, Gerard. Gerard, you're the guy that he was looking for. Uh, Rusty, I follow you each day, all day. Oh, that was the guy. That was, that was Captain Gerard looking for the fugitive. Yeah. Uh, Rusty, I follow you each day, LOL. How about getting yourself a stabilizer for your camera walks to study the context? Love the walking tours a lot. Great info. I don't do that many walking things. And besides that, one of those stabilizer things costs about 500 bucks. A good one. I ain't going to spend that. <clears throat> Foo Foo Dog. At 835, wow, if you don't get good cell service there, I'm not sure where you would. Probably good digital over the air TV as well. I don't know. I don't watch TV, so I'm not going to worry about that one. But the cell service is good. I got three bars of 4G LTE on Verizon and uh, four bars of LG uh, LTE on the uh, AT&T phone. So yeah, th this is nice. Uh, D. McCarty. Ah, oh, this is old uh, Billy the Kid's kin folks. <clears throat> says, Billy the Kid is in my family tree. No bragging, of course. My family has some great pictures of the McCarty Saloon in Wichita, Kansas, and Billy's brother Joseph is in them. 
Okay. Very good. Food foo foo dog on the beautiful Carrizozo. Google is showing quite a few family dollar stores nearby. Looks like you need to go down by Ruidosa for more options. Yeah, Ruidosa is about I don't know, <clears throat> probably 40 miles from here. And uh, but there's another little town called uh, Capitan. Uh, they they've got filtered water and they have a little grocery store. That's all I need. And and I'll only be here a couple of weeks. I can only be here two weeks. <clears throat> Thank you, though, Foo Foo Dog. Uh, Rob Kala on the MyPod or Runaway 10K for a used MyPod. <laughs> it says absurd. Well, you know, if you don't want it, don't buy it. Somebody will. Uh, Carrizozo, Mike Butterfield, one of the poorest states in America. Man, oh, man, you are making me so proud of my state. America's driest. He lives in, Mike lives in Nevada, I think, or Nevada, however they said. I don't care. <clears throat> At least Texas is Texas. Madden Master. Speaking of which, the Masters Golf Tournament's this week, for any of you guys that are interested. <clears throat> I may watch some of it over the uh, over my smartphone. Valley of Fires. You see what nasty P P L P do? Just dump in desert. Awful. She must have seen some trash. Uh, Martha said, did you get my emails? Yeah, I did. Uh, Vibasa 1, Valley of Fires. Nice. <clears throat> Tom Wilson, the beautiful Carol Zozo, love the small towns. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> this is Valley of the Fires. Thanks for the walkthrough. I enjoyed it very much. <clears throat> Got the stuff again. I don't know why. But it's all early, early in the morning, too. It aggravates me in the morning. Uh, Sherry Sprankle, thanks for taking us along. I'm enjoying your travels. You're welcome. This is uh, Carol Zozo. Love the tours. Vibosser 1. Rocomo 1. Left me a peace sign or whatever that is. Uh, Dan Frenzel, not too many people out in Carrizozo. Probably most have been abducted by aliens. <laughs> I doubt that. Just not many people there, that's all. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mike Butterfield says, Reverend Rusty, I take a lot of photos with my phone. I've never owned a PC, never had Facebook, Twitter, or anything. Me either. Uh, I make it a point not to take pictures involving human pathos. I only share them with my sister. Da, da 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 He's married to one of them Mongolian ladies. I'll be dog. His son married a Mongolian. That's interesting. I was there for a while. Them there, LOL. Hallelujah. Uh, anyway, thank you, Mike. Drive long road. It, uh, he says, eat and drink. Okay. <clears throat> this is Amish Sailor. Hi, Russ. He looks like your only option is to get your groceries on Amazon. Yeah, really. I could, couldn't get it delivered here, though. This is the way all towns will be in the future when our local grocery stores go out of business. What's up with all those an animal figurines on top of the buildings? I don't know. Your 16-footer is nicer than any house in that town. Not really. There's a few nice homes. There are some nice ones. You just didn't see them. <clears throat> uh, it says, drive long road. Look at the big antennas. What are you thinking of? Who operates them? Mobile, NSA, aliens? I don't know. She got a link. Individual's got a link to something. Thank you, Drive Long Road. Dan Frenzel, uh, nice video. I picture that being a two-beer walk. Uh, well, it could be a six-pack for me. It just depends. It depends on what I want it to be. <laughs> Kimberly, 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 uh, Kimberly, uh, P. Wow, absolutely nothing going on in that town. I wonder how far... To the nearest Walmart. Well, that's Alamogordo, 60 miles, I guess. My destination is Gallup, New Mexico, and the surrounding areas this summer. Me and my dog, I guess. Maybe you should keep a live straw handy. Thanks for the ride. Safe travels. Same to you. Uh, Popo47, am I the only one that thought there was going to be a walkthrough of the rig in the, on the title screen? <clears throat> uh, you could be. I, I just happened to see him standing out there as I was taking a walk. <clears throat> I didn't even ask him. And he was fixing to leave anyway. I, I don't, most people don't want to be interviewed. <clears throat> Ghost Chase. And I don't blame him. Hey, Rusty. Keith, Keith right here. What is some of the reasons for you not going to Mexico? I thought about moving there for nine, six to nine months. 
Uh, well, it depends on where you go in Mexico. You know, you better you better pick you a nice little city. I wouldn't go to any of the little border towns. I don't care to go to Mexico. Okay, I'm completely comfortable in the United States of America. You know, I can drink the water, eat any of the food, most of the food, and I know I can speak the language. Now, if you go to, you go into Mexico, you're going into foreign countries. See, that's what you forget. If you speak the language, you got a 50-50 chance. <clears throat> but you're a gringo, ghost chase. Uh, but anyway, yeah, go down there if you want to. Just, but you know, I would stay away from the larger cities and the ones near the border. That's all. Traveling with Rick, uh, those lava sands are incredible. Got to go, got to get there. I was under the impression BLM lands were strictly boondocking, no services. Learn something new every day. No, they have improved sites. They really do, and they have, you know, they have hookups. They, I don't know, if, I don't think I've ever been one with full hookups. But water and electric, they have a few. <clears throat> Paul Harrington on Carrizozo, cool little town, you were right, Rusty. I'm getting pushback from folks about my plans to sell my home and get an RV. It's interesting how the majority of people are like sheep. We have to get a house, fill it with a bunch of worthless stuff, and for what? I agree with you. I've always been a minimalist, but we buy things for the people in our lives, maybe to make them more fulfilled, but it does the opposite. For me, it does the opposite for anyone. The more stuff you have, the more miserable you are. Uh, what you're doing... And how you live is a real fulfillment for me. You know, a lot of people don't like, wouldn't like this, and I understand that. It's not just the deep breaths that lower the blood pressure. It's your whole way of life, and that's absolutely true. <clears throat> and I chose this life, and I designed it myself because it's mine. How about that? <clears throat> you know, it's a funny thing about people. We, we'll, you know, we'll plan a trip. You know, we'll plan what we're gonna, how we're going to do our home. We'll plan on mowing the grass. We'll plan on how we're going to decorate the yard. But we don't plan our life. Most people don't. Nothing wrong with it. It wouldn't be a bad idea to sit down and plan your life, would it? <clears throat> where am I going to be next year? Where do I want to be next year? You're not going to get there unless you think about it. You know, you can always change. Lenny James, gun laws, open carry, yeah. Yay or something like that. But don't think you can carry open in any car. MI has open carry as well, but you get in your car with it, you're going to jail or something. You have lock it up you have lock in box lock up until you stop then go back to open carry well i, I am not worried about it. i don't i don't open carry anyway <clears throat> and i probably never would this is one i did a long time ago i stayed at a motel six and i did a video on tv being cruel and unusual punishment because <laughs> i had to watch it i didn't have to I, I i turned on the tv i was going to watch some old movies and about every 10 seconds there was an ad so I've turned it all off. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> but anyway, there's three here from Mabel Lane on the Motel 6 stuff. She says, hey, Rusty, have you ever watched Carolyn's RVing video? Yeah, she, I did. <clears throat> I have. Uh, uh, it says, Mabel Lane, you are exactly right. TV sucks anymore. There's not never anything on way too many commercials. I'd rather be on YouTube. Me too. But that's why I watch YouTube. Mabel Lane, you better watch it, Rusty. That motel going to spoil you. You won't want to go back to your RV, LOL. I showed a flush toilet. <clears throat> yeah, I was fascinated. I had to read the instructions. I, had, I, <clears throat> I put a plastic bag in it. <clears throat> kidding, kidding, kidding. Valley of the Fires. Rusty, oh, this truth warrior, you've convinced me to add this campground to my list. The panoramic, panoramic, panoramic views are worthy of a postcard. I'm just curious if they allow car camping. Yeah, they did. I stayed here in my Prius a few times. Yeah, they go just drive down to the campsite, camp, uh, tent sites and back in or however you want to park. And you're good. And yeah, they got a, they got a toilet down there and water. So you've got your own little private campground because there's very rarely anybody down there. Yes, car camping is allowed. It's just in the tent sites. <clears throat> Perdoct, P-E-R-D-O-C-T, says this is on the Sunray, the little bitty travel trailer. <clears throat> says, I don't like the outside kitchen, but how hard would it be to attach three walls a roof and a floor to make it an indoor one. I don't know. You, you work on that. This is Amy Mosley Smith on Carrizozo. I enjoyed your drive into that town that starts with a C. Kind of sad that so much is closed. Now, it's, it's like that in all small... I drive through these little small towns all the time. And all the downtown area is just gone. <clears throat> Carrizozo, Mark Babcock. Great tour, Rusty. Love the stuffed burrows <laughs> or some other critter on the roofs of a couple of the buildings. Yeah, it's an interesting little downtown area, but that's, see, that's typical of most uh, Spanish communities uh, in that uh, they're decorative, you know, they're, they're artsy people and they, 
paint. You know, they very colorful with their painting, and yeah, <clears throat> it is. And uh, Santa Fe is that way. Taos is that way. Albuquerque is that way. <clears throat> Linda Lanasa, or Lanasa, Lanasa, I think. A lot of cell phone towers. Yeah, they they got to cover a lot of wide open country out here. Because you, you lose a signal about 50 miles going towards the Trinity site. Uh, Joanna Bagcal, Bagel, Bagel, this is uh, going to get something. It says, ha ha, you're hilarious. It must have been something stupid I did then. Uh, we'll do a few more and we're, we'll do two more and we're done. <clears throat> uh, Linda Lanasa, can you boil the water? Sure, you can boil water anywhere. Uh, G Gemanis, G G M A N E I S. This is in uh, the small town. It says you were in rare form for this one. Very enjoyable. Made me chuckle along with you. We live in Alamogordo, and head up to Albuquerque to the doctors once in a while. <clears throat> I've never seen any of Carrizozo except the main drag and the overpriced Valero Mart. Boy, isn't it? If you've never taken 380 west of town, you would take it. Nice, lonely road and beautiful, too. Yeah, 380, this is 380 that goes by the Trinity side, I believe. But anyway, guys, from <clears throat> from the uh, what Valley of the Fires in uh, New Mexico campground, BLM campground, this is Rusty78609 saying it's a beautiful day here. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, bye, anything your little heart desires. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of my videos. Why? Because I'm an Amazon affiliate and I get a small commission and it doesn't cost you a penny more. It doesn't cost you anything. So if you choose to use it, fine. If you're going to buy something from Amazon, think about it. If you're not, don't worry about it. Uh, what else? Uh, take, uh, don't drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day out here is mandatory. Why? Because it'll help you uh, avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll help you lose weight if that's what you want to do. Uh, take deep breaths, breathe in deep, hold it for a few seconds, breathe out slowly. Why? Because that helps relieve stress, and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure, which is very good for you. What else? Stretch, 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 walk, 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 keep your body in motion. Why? Because uh, it's healthy, that's why. And then uh, what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind, because what you let in are ingredients. Don't let the talking heads get in here. Don't let negative people get in. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned dump trash in your head. Okay, it's yours. And this is your body, your life, everything. So, you know, do it your way and enjoy it. Anyway, having said that, guys, adios amigos. Till next time, bye-bye.